Congratulations, you've just been handed a huge new opportunity. Bravo. With it comes the need for new skills, skills you'll need to master in short order. Every year, Harvard Business School Executive Education helps executives like you develop the hard and soft skills it takes to succeed in new roles. This is your chance. Go. Start by going to hbs.me slash go. That's hbs.me slash go. Blog Talk Radio. That you left behind I knew I had to move on If I wanted to survive So I just buried your old memory alive I tried to kill my love for you With no success in sight I tried to kill your memory It refuses to die It keeps hanging on Hanging on for dear life So I just been raised that old memory alive That you left behind I knew I had to move on If I were to survive So I just buried your old memory alive Friday night at 8 o'clock, then it is time for Off the Chain. I am your host, Yvonne Mason, and the um, artist that sings that song is my guest tonight. But before we get to her, I want to say thank each and every one of you for joining us. Y'all just keep making this show bigger and better, and we're just all over the world, ladies and gentlemen. It's, It's such a humbling, humbling thing that because of all of you all, this show's heard in over 200 countries. Now, for some people, they might say, yeah, okay, big deal. It is a big deal because when you have indie artists on this show, that may be the only way they're being heard, and it is absolutely amazing. So I want to thank you for that. There's two ways you can get on this show. We are headed into our third year, if you can believe that. And to get on this show, just give me a call, uh, an email at offthechainradio at yahoo.com or contact me on my Facebook page. Or if you want to become a sponsor on this show, also contact me at offthechainradio at yahoo.com and I'll tell you how to do it. And with that being said, before we start the show, I want to welcome some sponsors that have been with me for a minute on this show. One of them is goes like this. Do you love thrilling whodunits? 
cozy mysteries or sizzling suspense with dangerous twists and turns. Well, each one has secrets, and one of those secrets could get them all killed. Often death is just the beginning, but what if the damage was already done? The answer is revealed in death and damages, keeping you on the edge of your seat with hair-raising homicides as you discover mysterious secrets, deadly assassins, and cold-blooded killers in this thrilling box set of 24 breathtaking tales of death and damages. Pre-order your box set now at deathanddamages.com. Howard Levine is an independent author as well, and he has a book out called Last Gasp. It's published by Black Opal Books. Fred Tedeschi's niece is dead, one of thousands of victims of a terrorist attack, which has been laid at the feet of Islamic radicals by a right-wing U.S. government. Frank, based on a chance encounter, is one of the very few people who questions the government's explanation. He's a Vietnam veteran who wants nothing more than to live without further controversy or conflict. Can he and his grieving brother Rob, a detective with the NYPD, obtain the necessary evidence to uncover the truth in the face of scorn and incredibility? Can they overcome their long-term estrangement to work together, given that they are putting their lives in danger? And last gasp, a novel that resonates with today's politics, the answers to these questions unfold in a way that mingles personal and societal issues and intertwines the past and present while moving relentlessly forward. That's Last Guest by Howard Levine. Most of you know Diane Moe. She writes a series called the Sam Holden series, and Sam Holden is indeed our favorite vigilante. The third book in the series has been released. In Dog Bones, Sam's quest to avenge abused animals is threatened when the FBI comes after her on one side and the commissioner wants her dead on the other. Will her double life be exposed? Will Sam be able to protect the animals, her friends, and herself? Check out Dog Bones by Diane Mote everywhere ebooks are sold. And ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't started the series yet, you will want to start with Dog Gone by Diane Mote. Now, on to tonight's show. The song that you just heard was written and performed by a young lady, and I call her young in the most dearest, dearest voice in the world. Her name is Margie Singleton. Now, the thing about Miss Margie is she was born on October the 5th, 1935. She's known professionally as Margie Singleton. She she is an American country music icon, a singer and songwriter. In the 1960s, Margie was a popular duet and solo recording artist working with country stars George Jones and Farron Young. Now, those of you who are young, go and look up those names because they are masters in the country music world. Everybody that came after them mimicked them. Singleton had her biggest hit with Young called Keeping Up with the Joneses, and I remember that song very well. This was in 1964. She managed a successful solo career in the 1960s, recording nine top 40 Billboard country singles, including a top five hit. In addition to being a solo and duet star, Margie also sang as a backup vocalist with the Jordanaires, which used to sing with Elvis Presley. Numerous performers recorded many of her songs, including Teresa Brewer, Tammy Wynette, and Charlie Pride. And if you don't remember those folks, go look them up. In 1964, Margie teamed up with singer Farron Young, and together they recorded the song Keeping Up with the Joneses. That year, the song reached the country top five and became Margie's biggest hit. Now, at the young age of 83, Margie Singleton is back with a new single and video for her her song, Jesus is my pusher, and we will talk about that in a, in a little bit because I have some news about that that I bet y'all don't know. Margie, my darling friend, welcome to the show. Hey, girl. How are you doing? I'm okay. I am okay. Well, you have, you've been a busy lady. I have. You know, you were talking about Jesus is my pusher. Did you not get the new one, uh, Heaven or Hell? No, I didn't get that one. Oh, gosh, it's on YouTube. Can you get it it, there? 
I can I can pick it up and listen to it. I don't know that I can download it, but um, okay. I have heard that song, and that it is, is an amazing song. Uh, I wish I had gotten it to you. Uh, it, it, well, we'll it, just have it, you back. Amazing. That that we'll sounds you, good. To me. We'll just have you back, and we'll play it. <laughs> Will you just let me know when, and I'll be there because it's it's got quite a story behind it. They can just anticipate it. It's called Heaven or Hell, and and uh, my associate pastor Kent Riddle at church asked me to write a song about hell because God had put upon his heart to do a, a, a revival about hell, and. So I, I, I did. The Lord gave me the song, and I wrote it, and I put it down on tape and sung it. He gave me the ability to do it, and it, the, and we did a video on it, and the video is just absolutely, I'm not talking about my part of it, but the young man that did it is a, is one of my brothers at church, and he did an incredible job. If you saw that, you saw the 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 stone steps and all at the park mm-hmm. where we were. It, it was it it's really an amazing was. video. It it's very yes. moving and it makes oh you my stop God. and think. It does. It's it's done a lot of people like that to stop and think we're just gonna have folks just wondering what in the world are they talking about? They can <laughs> well, go on YouTube also and watch that <laughs> video. And watch you, the video. Yeah, and they can order can, it off the C D baby too. Yeah, they can. And you <laughs> sent me a photograph or a picture via messenger with a dog. What in the world is that all about? With the dog? Yeah, with a doll. A doll. Oh, that's my marionette. Marinette, ah. I got that in the mail yesterday. Let me tell you this story about that. Uh, a, a young man uh, by the name of Nate Gibson, he went back, and I started on my career recording on Starday Records. And Starday is, is, is like a, I mean, it, 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 it's it's history. Because George Jones recorded on there, and and. They just did a box set, uh, Bear Family in Germany, uh, this past year, did a, a big box set of the years of George's uh, career from 1956, I think, to 1963, of all his old records. On, it has six CDs in it that's got 33 songs on each side. The reason I'm telling you about that is because I was the first woman to do a full album with George. And they it's 14 songs in this album, and I'm real proud of it. Uh, uh, I wrote two of the songs, and, and I'm extra proud that they put those in the album. Wow. But, uh, yeah. And, and so anyway, um, let me get back to where I started. This marionette, I don't know if I'm saying it right or not, a puppet or whatever, I got in the mail today because this uh, uh, this uh, guy, Nate Gibson, has has been working for two years finding all of us original artists who are still alive and re-recording two of the songs that we recorded on in our first days of our our music life. So they were on Star Day, and uh, he he came to town, and we recut those songs and got incredible uh, new versions of them. Uh, and uh, so t- he's doing a puppet show with with the artist. I don't know how he's going to do it, but folks look for it on on uh, Facebook and YouTube and and just about everywhere. But he sent me this little puppet. And, and on, if you'll notice, Yvonne, over there on the side is a CD that's got the dress on. They tried to copy uh-huh. on the little puppet. <laughs> How <laughs> and amazing! I thought I was just uh, to get a puppet made like you. That's really I'm telling you. That I'm is, that, that is yeah, a until, compliment, Margie. I know it until you've been Googled or or, or somebody makes a puppet out of you. <laughs> you haven't arrived. <laughs> 
I feel I, like I, I've arrived. Well, no, you you have arrived twice. I, there's <laughs> very few artists out there from day forever that be a friend. They did in the heyday of country music and then turned around 60 years later and made it big again. Well, there, there's few of us out there. I'm not as big as, as a lot of my peers and never got that big, but I did do a lot. And uh, I'm, I thank God I'm still doing it, you know, and uh, uh, it's only through his mercy and grace that I'm alive and walking and still able to, to do what. If I didn't have the music, I'd, it would be hard. I've got God in me. And he put this song in me, and I just got to let it come out. And I almost died. Uh, Leon Ashley was my husband, and he had this big, big record called Laura, What's He Got That I Ain't Got. You mentioned me recording with George and Farron. I recorded with three of the finest entertainers ever walked on stage. That was George Jones, Farron Young, and Leon Ashley. Uh-huh. And he had this, this song that... Uh, he wrote, recorded, put it out on his own label, published, and made it go to number one in all the trades. And over 30 people, artists, have recorded it. And that's quite a feat, you know. And that I remember that right song. I, I re- that, yes, that song was very popular. Oh, yeah. It, it really it was a big, big record, and I'm, I'm so proud of it. Uh, I, you know, he's gone, and uh, I know he met me in music. He was a radio station owner, and uh, he uh, played with music. He, it wasn't his business, and he, I was pretty going at that time, and he wanted to know if I wanted to stay in the in the music business or go with him in the radio business, and stupid me, I said, <laughs> The music <laughs> you know, I might have been lucky rich today with seven radio stations going like like he sold to go into the music business. But we uh, we did pretty good. We worked the road for 48 years, did our own thing, had our own label, did our own uh, publishing, our own songs, put them out on our label, and they did whatever they did. Mm-hmm. But it kept us booking shows, and that's... That's what we did. We love to do it. And I'm going to shut up now <laughs> and let you well, ask me. Speaking of booking shows, do you know Michael Stover is, I have to thank Michael Stover for the management because he's the reason that you and I hooked up in the first place. Absolutely. And he, I, and he, he keeps me he's, he keeps me up to date on what all of y'all are doing. And without fail, he, well, without aw. fail, Every one of the artists that has been on my show has hit the top 40 on the indie music charts. And you're one of those artists that has hit that indie music chart. It's a phenomenal what y'all are doing. That, that's in Yeah. Michael, uh, I, I, he worked for me on the last two video, two CDs and videos on the, uh, Jesus is my pusher and on, uh, uh, heaven or hell, he's done an incredible job, and he really gets out there and does it, you know. And I just appreciate him so much. There's something somebody said. I guess I'm, I'm, I got my head stuck in the sand, but I think I've been nominated for an Emmy. Yes, somewhere. you have. Yes, you Would have. Would you fill me in on that? <laughs> I saw it, and I'm going. Okay, that came up the other day. I I saw it. I'm not sure if I can pull it up tonight or not, but I saw it the other day, and I was just um, I can't, blown away. Me too. Uh, uh, I forgot who. I, I didn't see it on Facebook. I didn't see it online. I don't know where where it was. If you find it, send it to me on, on, on Facebook Messenger. Uh, I know it's there because several people had, just like you said, they were blown away and that was really a big deal. And I thought, well, 
I guess it is, but I don't know. I hope whoever, if it's up to the people to vote it in, I hope they vote for me. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now, when when you're out there and you say, well, I have this dream, but I'm too old, just remember, Margie, because this woman has not only had two careers at two different stages in her life, she was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. Now, come on. You're never too old to start a career. Now, that's the independent Country Music Hall of right. Fame. Right. Still, still, that is an honor. Yes, ma'am. To be in, and, and not only that, ladies and gentlemen, I am fixing to play a song, and then I'm going to tell you what this song one. So hold on just a minute. Let me go and find this song. I've got it to play because when I read about this song and when I read what it won, I just about fell in the floor. So let's play the song first. Singleton. Now, when I was doing my deep dive on Margie just to see what she's been up to, because this woman's busier in a bee and a beehive, I ran across <laughs> this award and I went back and I looked at it three times. Now, why it did not make national and international news is absolutely beyond me. That particular song, ladies and gentlemen, won. Are you ready for this? Drum roll, please. She was the winner of the L.A. Music 
video of the year for this year for that video and that song on that video. Margie, it's never too late unless you're pulling up daisies to make a statement. <laughs> That's right. My, my my youngest son the other day, well, they both came over. I have two sons, Steve and Sydney, and he, they, they both, he's tone deaf. He has no musical ability at all. His Sydney and, and Steve is my oldest one. He plays the guitar and, 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 and sings a little, but he plays a good guitar. But anyway, they both came in and we were out on my breezeway just visiting. And he said, Hey, Mom, I came up with this song idea. And I said, Oh, my God, you know, he don't do that. I don't hear that from him. And he said, <laughs> I said, What is it? He said, I ain't put said I ain't that wait, they ain't put no dirt on me yet. <laughs> and I said, What? <laughs> he said, Well, I was in the grocery store and I heard this this uh, person ask this older man uh, how he was doing and he said, I ain't put no dirt on me yet and he thought that was a great idea for a song and we started writing it. We didn't finish it, but we we're on the road to writing it. So Oh, I can't wait to hear that one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I hope know whether you we'll get it. Well, I do too. It's, it's a good idea. You say if you're trying to throw, throw, uh, uh, t- trying to put me in a hole, I'm gonna tell you where to go because you ain't putting no dirt on me. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be a funny one, you know. <laughs> of course, because it it just because yeah. it, when um when people ask have been known to ask me how I am, I'll say I'm still on this side of the dirt. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> well, sometimes it's a bad thing when you're feeling like like sometimes we do. Might be better uh-huh. to be, be wherever. But I'm not going in the whole period, Yvonne. I'm 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 gonna be I'm I'm gonna be cremated because I, I never could stand the thought of putting dirt on me. <laughs> I figured I could burn one time and it be done with because I ain't going to burn no more. But I'm not going to lay in that hole with dirt over me either. (laughs) Oh, Lord, I'm going in the box with Leon when I go. I got him in there in the living room. Well, I've got Jack in my living room too, so he told me he he wanted to be crazy. Yeah, he because see, people think I'm crazy. No, I didn't want to put him in the... I didn't want to have to go to place to visit him. I wanted him home with me, didn't you? Well, Jack had already told me that he wanted to be cremated. So uh-huh. my my world revolved around him. So when when he died, that's what I did. I did exactly what he asked me to do. And he said, exactly. now if you want to be buried, you can put me in the box with you. I said, okay, done. So I tell the children, Jack's going in the box with me. <laughs> Instead of you going in the box with him, he's gonna go in the box with you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> see, you're gonna be putting, you're gonna be putting that hole, but I'm not. I'm gonna be in that little urn in there. Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make my kids put me in a, in a vault, in a, in a mausoleum. Oh, okay. Oh, you won't be under the dirt then. That's no, good. no. No, they're, they're gonna have to put me in a mausoleum, so they need to get get ready to to find one for later on down the road. A, lo- yeah. a long time down the road. <laughs> Lord willing, yeah. There's there's too Lord much going willing. on that that we too many roads to travel. So oh, I Lord we just Jesus. so I'm I want you, to, did you get that? Go ahead. I was gonna ask you what. Show you show. <laughs> Oh, you just talk away, honey. You just talk away. What I was going to ask you before we get too deep in the weeds here is what else have you got going on? Well, I've got a couple of shows booked right away. Um, one is uh, actually one of them is a benefit for an artist, Warner Mack, from my era, and he's been in a nursing home. He's now home with his cousin. 
but he's not doing well, and we're doing a benefit for him this coming Sunday at five at four o'clock, and uh, uh, at at uh, at five o'clock, I'm just going to go to see my my friend Diane Cheryl sing at the rope meeting, which is a re- retired artist, and and really it's not for retired artists, but it's it's an organization that music people have that we go to and we meet and get to uh, see each other three or four times a year. I'm going to that, but I'm going to be working in next, uh, the 14th, I'm going to uh, Cookville, Tennessee to do a little show. Um, I'm just staying busy, girl, and I, I am now, there. I, I go to a an, an organization, I, I don't know if you'd call it that or not, it's, it's, uh, it, it's called, it's, it's a gospel uh, thing every once a month we, we meet, and People come and sing their original songs, gospel songs, and I have just been nominated to the board. And I have, I've, all I've ever done is sit on the board instead of trying to be behind a desk on the board. But <laughs> they they nominated and elected me to be on the board of USA Gym. That's U, U, United States Gospel uh, Music Association. Wow, and it's a worldwide thing too, and so I, I look forward to that once a month to go sing on that, and to to be with, once a month we meet uh, to for me to be on that board. <laughs> I might be sitting on a board, but anyway, I'm doing that, and I'm in the middle of of recording a, a gospel album and a country album, and and the, my boys. My music boys, which they all call me their Tennessee mama, and Joe Rucker, Kyle Knoll, and Lonnie Spiker are three. Lonnie works with us. He's he's doing well on his own, and he worked with Leon and I for about twenty years on uh, on the road as our front man. And uh, he 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 and I. We've written songs together. We're gonna. I'm gonna put two each: two of me and Lonnie, two of me and Joe, and two of me and Kyle. And Kyle and I have an incredible song that we just. I may send it to you just to listen to it and get your input. I don't okay. think I'm gonna do anything else to it, but it's not ready for airplay. But it, it's uh, we blended so well. He, he's my little guitar player, and he just. I've never blended as well with anybody since Leon. Our our harmonies were so perfect, me and him. And I never thought I'd find anybody else that I would be that comfortable with. But but Kyle and I, we got this song called "We Resurrected Old Memories," and and it's just a it, it's just so pretty. Uh, just a I, I don't send it to you and let you hear it, but don't you do nothing with it to play I it before I come. I would do it. I, I would not do it without your permission. You know how tight I can be about well, music. I, I know, but if I just sent it and didn't tell you not to do it, then you might think, well, I can, you know. <laughs> no, 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 not without asking. Yeah, well, that's okay. It normally would be okay. And then... Uh, Lonnie and I have got our songs written, and he's already got a music track down. I've got. He wanted me to go tomorrow, as a matter of fact, and do put my voice on with his. But I have another thing I got to do, and I'm going out. Something I'm doing is uh, uh, the 15th. I'm going to our state prison here. And I'm going to, with my church, there's one of our pastors who is a, uh, he has a church ministry for the prison. And uh, he he uh, has set up a, a dinner. We're going to take dinner to the prisoners and we're going to serve it. I'm going to serve the prisoners their their Christmas dinner on the 15th. I'm looking forward to that. That'll I know be fun. Yeah, it it will be. I'm looking forward to it, and um, it's uh, there's there's a man. I don't know. 
I think he was supposed to be executed today or yesterday. I hate that, but he was in that prison that I'm going to. It's the Tennessee State Prison, and uh, I don't know what the name of it is, but it's just a big prison here. But that's what I'm doing, things like that. You're just just busy. You are just one busy woman. Well, you know, don't let no dirt grow under my feet, and then I may (laughs) keep going. (laughs) Well, what, ladies and gentlemen, what you all may not know, Margie and I talked about this when she was on the show several months back. One of my favorite songs in the whole wide world, and one that I quote quite a lot because I can I can relate to it really really well because the school used to hate to see me coming was Harper (laughs) Valley PTA. And everybody's heard the version by Jeannie C. Riley, but Miss Margie sang it first. Yeah, it was written for me to follow Ode to Billy Joe with. I had a top 40 record on Ode to Billy Joe Country. Now, Bobby Gentry, I guess I told you this, wrote the song. She had the big hit on it, pop, but it wasn't playing on the country station. So uh, Leon... uh, said let's do a country record of it and we did and it it got in the top 40 and I I had recorded Tom T. Hall wrote uh, Harper Valley PTA for me to follow Ode to Billy Joe with and I cut it and I went to I had a European tour and uh, when Leon and I got back landed on the plane and got in our car to come home we heard Jeannie C. Riley singing Harper Valley PTA. And it, man, it was a blow. But, you know, I I was, uh, I don't blame her. My ex husband had her on his label, and somehow my session got into the hands, his hands, and he, uh, he cut her on it. And she, of course, had a huge hit, and I'm proud for her. I was upset and for, for a few years, I was pretty upset, and but I, I come to the realization that God has me exactly where he wants me, you know? I might yep. not could have handled that, that huge stardom, but I did sell 100,000 albums on it before they got her album out. <laughs> and, but so. you know that you didn't hear much about her after that song. No, no, I don't know if she ever had anything else of any significance or not. Uh, she was a friend of mine on Facebook. I don't. I'm. I'm not really sure. I. Uh, she's a friend of mine on Facebook. Uh, she thanked me for my demo. She didn't know it was my session, I guess, but <laughs> she thanked me for, for my demo. <laughs> I said, well, "You're welcome." I'm glad. I'm so happy I could do it. <laughs> and and you're right. I think that when we allow God to really take our lives and and do with them what He sees Absolutely. fit, because He has the big picture, mm-hmm. and things have a way of working out. When we try to tell God what to do, boy, do mm-hmm. we look foolish. So you're yeah. probably right. I I don't think you would be. Where you are today, if oh, you no. had done that song, Mm-mm, I don't think I would either. Maybe the glory of it would have would have destroyed me as a human being. You know, maybe I couldn't have handled it. I don't know why God didn't let me have that. But you know, I'm glad He didn't. I didn't. I didn't need to be up there. You know, uh, I'm. I've gone through fat times in my life, and that's one time I didn't look good in a mini skirt. <laughs> <laughs> I never looked good in a mini skirt. I couldn't keep them pulled down enough to keep them joined my behind. <laughs> I wouldn't have looked good in one at that time of my life because I was a little bit chubby. You know? <laughs> oh, so, mercy. Maybe yes, I'll put. Maybe I ought to get me a mini skirt now and go re-record it and see what happens. <laughs> oh, I, I, that Wouldn't would that be, be funny, fun? Margie. That would that be hysterical. Would be I think you should do that. Do 
Avon, don't, 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 don't look <laughs> forward to that. <laughs> that would be so much fun, though. It wouldn't have to be it a real, would, would it be. wouldn't have to be hey, a real mini show. The big comeback. <laughs> well, you know, you can have, <laughs> you have, you can have leggings on today with a short skirt. Exactly. I could put my mini skirt on with my leggings, maybe. Yeah, hey, there you go. Let's have our, let, hey, let's have your audience vote on whether I ought to do that or not. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here. Should Miss Margie <laughs> re-record Harper Valley PT, which was her song, with her mini skirt and her leggings, and do a video? I think that would be so much fun. <laughs> it would be, wouldn't it? It would. And see, you could get your knee-high boots. That would be oh, so yes. much fun. Well, I got them. I'm already wearing them. See? There you go. You're halfway there. <laughs> I'm halfway. Avon, you're going to get me in so much trouble. But won't it be fun? <laughs> it would be fun. I'd have to get you to come go along with me to beat people off of me. I can do that. <laughs> I might tell me so when... sexy. They couldn't stand that. <laughs> Tell me when you want to do this, and I am there. I'll put my little Maltese oh in the car. God. I'll pack my bag, and I'll come to Tennessee <laughs> or wherever you are. That's Think about it, Marsh. Wouldn't that be, I'm, that would be oh that would be hysterical? God. That would be you so fun. It would. It would be so funny. It really would. It really would. But God, I don't know if I have the nerve to do it or not. Of course you do. Step out of that comfort zone, Margie. <laughs> well, that Step might be my next video, Ivana. I might just chunk everything back a little ways and say, wait there in, in the in the wings, and then go ahead and put my Harbor Valley PTA yes. CD video. Hey, I, I would promote that from here to South Carolina yes, and back it would twice. Be your idea. But, your but it would be, you, but it would be you, you singing it. It would be you making a comeback with Harper Valley Peach. How much fun would that be <laughs> after all these years, Margie? I'm just, I'm just bold over that you would even believe Absolutely. It. Hey, that you want, you want, funny. I just still got it, well, honey. Well, I don't know. I might not have it. If I did that, somebody might kill me. Hey, no. your listeners are listening now. We've asked them, should Margie re-record oh, uh, I'm not a good, Harper Valley PTA with leggings and a miniskirt on? And her boots. And put, do a video of it, huh? Absolutely. And I'm going to tell you, people do listen to this show because I was interviewing I an, an, an author friend of mine, and we got to talking about her vampires and how they were acting like Daffy Duck. And and then we, somehow or another we got on the, the thing with Bugs Bunny being a vampire, and I said, now, what, you watch. <laughs> Before this show's over, with people going to start sending cartoons of Bugs Bunny as a vampire? And they did. They did. Oh, so I fully expect to get some feedback on this tonight, and well, that yeah. it's going to be overwhelming. That yes, Miss hey, Margie yeah. Singleton should do it. Uh, well, they they gonna have to they're gonna have to vote it in because I got to have somebody on my side beside you. I'm all you need, Just, honey. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I think that's true. <laughs> I am all you need. Trust me on this. I just throw it out there in the universe and it happens. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that we're, going, we're even talking about doing this. Why not? But you know that would be funnier than that would be. You talk about that should have been nationwide, uh, whatever you were talking about a while ago that had happened, that it should have been all over. Everybody heard uh-huh. about it. Yeah. I bet you everybody would hear about this. <laughs> As they should. And it should have. Get, get the little guy that did your Jesus is my pusher video. Oh, get him to video. Can you? Oh, it would be <laughs> magnificent. Uh, you know, I'm almost thinking that might could happen. <laughs> of course it can happen. Because we want it to happen. It will happen. You would you be surprised. 
be surprised if the things what Michael that, says about it. When I, 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 Michael, Michael's all in. I guarantee you, Michael will be all in. You, you run it by him. And say we took a vote where the where the Margie ought to do re-record Harper Valley PTA in leggings and a mini skirt. I'm not gonna go yeah. bare legged. Oh and, no, and, and no, you gotta wear the, you gotta wear the leggings. And, Neha, and they got, yeah, they gotta be at, they gotta be outlandish leggings. They can't be just just plain old leggings. They gotta make a statement. They gotta make a statement. You got the you got to get them for me. Then I don't know none that make a statement. I just got plain oh, black ones and oh, brown. Oh, Margie, 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 Margie. If you knew well, the you leggings the that leg- I wear and my contacts, oh honey, you have thrown down the gauntlet. Oh my God, you go send me the leggings I need to wear uh-huh. on the video. I will. <laughs> Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it first here. We are on a journey now. The woman has done committed. No. <laughs> you got to wait and see. Run it by Michael, and I got to run it by a few people. Oh, Margie, I got a little secret for you, honey. Okay. Men don't tell me no. Oh, me. I, I can imagine that boy for years, but they don't. No, they don't. <laughs> oh, me. We just lost our minds totally. No. How long did this show last? Oh, we got another few minutes. I'm going to play another one of your songs, but while I'm playing your song, you, you see the visual in your head, and I guarantee I you. It will be perfect. Lord, help me, I do. (laughs) See? And already (laughs) she's excited. This is Off the Chain. I'm your host, Yvonne Mason, with the most wonderful, wonderful young sprout, Miss Margie Singleton, who is an independent country artist, who I love with all my heart. And we're going to make this happen, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. On the other side of life, I will be waiting. If I get there before you do, but if you happen to arrive before I do, wait on me, I'll be coming. I had a dream last night I went to heaven I was searching everywhere for you Then I looked down at Jesus' feet And I saw you Waiting there for me Just the way I prayed you'd be Then I knew I had reached the end of life's journey All my struggles and heartaches were through What no could What more could I have than to be in heaven and spend eternity with my Jesus and you? Let it be so, let it be. 
be true Let it be me Let it be all it seems to be Let it be more than just a dream Jesus won't Jesus won't you please That's called On the Other Side of Life by my guest, the wonderful, wonderful Margie Singleton. And Margie, I have to tell you, yes. I have already mm-hmm. contacted Michael. What did he say? Nothing yet. Yes. But it will, he will contact me. It is up on my Facebook. I sent him a Facebook post. Say, are you two women crazy, out of your minds? Ask him what he promoted. (laughs) But all the best people are. (laughs) Oh, yes, crazy. Yeah, that's true. (laughs) Oh, I just girl, and I. You know, just like I have never seen Jesus, but I sure do love him. And I've never seen you face to face, but I just love him because you're crazy, just like me. <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> if we live this life, and and most people, Margie, are so afraid of stepping out of their comfort zone, of doing something mm-hmm. out of the ordinary to become extraordinary that they live die with regrets mm-hmm. yeah you're pushing me aren't you towards uh-huh yes I'm, <laughs> I do that that is my MO because I, my mind will not shut down until you do it it will just drive oh me crazy <laughs> well we, we'll we're gonna we gotta talk I mean, we, I gotta, we can spend the rest yeah. of our life talking. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it might not be too long. <laughs> oh but think of it goodness. this way, Margie. You will definitely make an indelible impact on oh the my world. Oh, gosh, yes. Probably in a negative. No. Like, oh. No, let me tell you what it will do. It will inspire. It will us. Fire, and it will get some people up off their behinds and get them mm-hmm. motivated to not to not just dream, but to make the dream a plan. That's true. We're joking, but you're that's right. You know, if, if you got a dream, I think no matter where you are in life, uh, just the, the first thing you need to do is get God with you, and and just follow that dream where He leads you. And, yep. and I think that's what, what I've tried to do. Uh, I just, uh, I, well, I'm just here. That's all. Well, I'm, in, in our amazing. society, <laughs> yes, I'm an instigator. <laughs> in our society, Margie, we have, for whatever reason, I guess our own stupidity, we have regulated people of age to the back of the bus. And we said, yes, you're not. Ma'am. You're not worthwhile anymore. You don't have anything to offer the world. You don't have anything to contribute. So get at the back of the bus and don't bother us because we're young and we and know it all. Well, there and die. Yeah, yep. but they're young, but youth and stupidity go hand in hand. Pretty soon they'll grow mm-hmm. out of it when they're 40, maybe. But yeah. people of age have something to offer, and that's the whole idea about you doing this video. You still have something yeah. of worth to offer. And that is live your dream. That's true. You know, um, I had thought that I was going to put forth there, but it just disappeared out out of my mind. But really, people, (laughs) like you said, people do. I was telling uh, my my, my little assistant guy that works for me, uh, we were talking about age. uh, And I said, you know, uh, people just 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 what you just said, but they don't realize that we, we the old when you get old you were there where they were you had desires you had dreams mm-hmm. 
and, and they're still within you. They don't die. Exactly. You know, I still have the same desires and wishes and dreams that I had when I was young. The only difference in me is I'm going for it by the grace of God. Exactly. You know, I'm not just sitting back, like you say, and letting it die. So uh, older people out there, get get up. If you've got a dream, just go to it. Go work, work on it. I mean, it, it it's it's not easy. You say I'm out there doing everything under the sun. Well, if I don't get out there and do it, who's going to know that I'm here? Exactly. You know? and, and you know what? The, the Internet and YouTube and Facebook has made it so much easier to get out there and let people know that you're there. And it's been wonderful to me. I know I spend too much time on it, but uh, I'm, I'm, uh, it, it's been a, 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 a load for me to take to get myself, because I died with Leon for, for three years. And uh, I, I didn't, my kids didn't even know me. They didn't think I would last another year. And, and the Lord gave me that what you just played. Uh, uh, you, you've lost and I've lost. And on the other side of life, he gave me that song. And that's what set the fire back in me to, to get going, girl. Get it well, going. Well, see, and, and who knows how far my friend will go. Well, you could, you're going right along with me. Absolutely. <laughs> if I don't, Jack will come back and get me. <laughs> yeah. Follow your dreams. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> but you yeah. know what, Miss Margie? Our time is almost up. I know it. So what I need you. Your... Yeah, go ahead. It's your show, I said. Tell me what to do. <laughs> no, I cannot imagine anybody <laughs> telling you what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I try. <laughs> but I, I would make a suggestion. Try. To, to tell the folks where you and your music can be found. <laughs> Just contact Yvonne Mason. She can get it to you. know, uh, Margie Singleton Music, Margie Singleton Music dot com, I think, is my website. <laughs> or just get me on Facebook. Uh, I'm there. Contact Yvonne. She's my new manager. She's telling me what to do. <laughs> Michael might not like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We better talk to him first. <laughs> oh, my. Well, honey, it's been a pleasure. It's been wonderful. And I want to find out, is, is this program is, is archived, is it? Is it where yes, people ma'am. can hear it? Yes, ma'am. Will you, I will send will you, you the take, link. I will put the do. link up on your page. And um, okay. you can just share and, it with everybody. Do, okay, great. Send it to Send it on my messenger too. I will. And on my page. That I will do that. Absolutely. We'll stay, we'll stay in touch. And, of and, course, and, and you're yeah, back. I do want. Yeah, see, what my, my, my pastor is just about ready to do his revival on hell. And then I'm going to contact you and tell you about it, and we can do it in, in, to coincide with that. And it'll be very okay. soon. You probably can't stand me that quick, but that that's how it'll have to be. <laughs> well, we can we'll work something out, no problem. Yeah. Okay. Ladies well, and gentlemen, I, I, I want to thank I want to thank Miss uh, Miss Margie Singleton for sitting down with me for an hour. She's absolutely a joy. I love her to death. We bonded the first time we talked. Go and check out her music in in. Remember, it doesn't matter the age. If you've got a dream, live it. And in this, this don't forget time to of, vote either. Don't and don't forget, forget to, to vote, vote because I posted, I posted, I posted the the post on my page to Michael Stover. So y'all go on my page and vote on that post. But I want to thank you all for being with us tonight. And remember, everybody's on a journey, and especially this time of year. Please be kind to those retail people. They have it so hard. I did it for a long time. Oh they God. they are so stressed out. So be nice to them. It's not their fault. And if you want yeah. to do great things, do not ask permission because you're already great. Just go out and do them. 
We will not be here tomorrow night. I will be at a book event, but we will be here again next Wednesday night with a whole new four days of fun filled and excitement. We will get Miss Margie back. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us tonight. And join us again next Wednesday night at 8 o'clock here at Off the Chain. And until then, we want to wish you all a good weekend. Okay, Miss Margie, the live show's off, and anything we say now, yes, it will show up in the archive part of the show. But what I'm gonna, what I wanted to tell you is, when we get off from here, I will, when it archives, I will post it on your page. I'll also send it to you in a message on Messenger. Good. And and then That's tomorrow, awesome. I'm. Tomorrow I'm going to put it up on all the other podcasts this thing shows up on. It's on iHeartRadio on two podcasts now. Oh, and I go to, where do I go to get the podcast? I will I will I send have. you those links. I will send you those links okay, once good. I get them up. It, it, this thing's going to show up on iTunes and YouTube and FM.com, oh. TuneIn Radio, Spreaker, SoundCloud, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, okay. and Reverb Nation. Lord, I might should have been more more nicer. I mean, <laughs> not should have been, not a bit. <laughs> I shouldn't have let you pull the bad out of me. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. There was nothing oh, wrong dear. with what we're planning. What we're planning. Nothing wrong at all. Oh, we're God. just gonna. Let me tell you what we're going to do. We're just going to show those folks that are sitting over there in the corner waiting to die that they don't just have to sit over in the corner and wait to die. Absolutely. I see it every day. My son, my older son, he's retired from broadcast music, BMI, and uh, he couldn't stand retirement. So there's a, a drug company here that that does compound drugs. They make them and, and they t- send them to nursing homes and, and facilities where people are waiting to die. And and he has never faced his mortality to this job. <laughs> he's, delivering, he's delivering drugs to these people. And he came to me one day and he said, Mom, I, said, I, I just don't know. He said, is that how I'm going to end up? He said, these poor people. And he went in one day at this place and he said, here were these people about six lined up in their wheelchairs ready to go in this room and and we looked at the nurse and he said, Man, it smells like pussy in here. Is this going <laughs> on something that's recorded? Yeah. <laughs> Is it? It will show up in archives, yep. Oh, but that's okay. But it, cut, cut it out. Can you cut <laughs> I, it out? No, I can't cut it out. <laughs> Well, won't I let me. Finish the, I'm not going <laughs> to finish the story then. But those poor people were sitting there to be cleaned up. And right. Thought, oh, my goodness. And he feels has such compassion for these people. He's really, he's, he's really come to be a very caring. He always was. But you don't think about old people until you get there and look at them and, and see how, how they're thrown away. Seemingly, mm-hmm. they are, and and, 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 and that wasn't the way I was raised. Right. Uh. Uh-uh. Me either. Me. Either. I've always thought older people could tell me something, and now they don't want nothing from older people's minds, and that's sad. And once you know. they're gone, all of that wisdom is gone with them. Mm-hmm. Yep. There's one cousin of mine that knows the family history my family history uh, real well and, and now she's getting Alzheimer's and I, I never got all I wanted from her and now I can't you know but oh, what a I, shame. I, I, yes it, it's lost forever somebody asked me what why did why was my uh, younger brother next no my middle brother his name was Clinton Avon, A V O N. And we don't know where that Avon or Avon, where that came from. Nobody in our family. How did my parents think up a name like that? Clinton Avon. It is. Now, 
Are you ready for this? Nobody. My grandfather's my grandfather's middle name. Our first name. My grandfather's first name was Clinton. My father's oh? first name was Clinton. We're just plum can to each other, aren't we? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Well, that is got, incredible. Things don't happen. Things don't no, happen by don't. coincidence. Oh, I'm a great believer in that. Everything, every word I'm saying was pre planned. Everything I do, the hairs on my head are numbered, and they're getting less in number as we speak. <laughs> Every time I brush my hair, I get a, I get more than I want, but I still got hair, though, thank God. Well, there you but, go. Yeah, well, they're going to kick get... us off of here in a minute, Miss Marjorie, so I'm going to end this before they kick us off in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> yeah. Okay, honey. Well, you take care and Stay in touch. Let me know how many votes you get and how many how what what Michael has to say. I will. I will. I will send you what he tells me. I bet he'll be all in. I'm. I'm pretty much would bet he would be all in. Okay. Gonna, well, gonna we'll be talk about it. I love you, girl, and you stay. I in love touch. you too. All right, and thank you because, for spending an hour you. with me. Thank you for letting me. All right, darling. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Calling all podcasters, musicians, vloggers, and reporters, and everyone else who wants crystal clear recording that's super portable. The Shure Motive family of microphones makes studio quality audio that's as simple as plug and play. Many of the world's top podcasters rely on Shure, and with a Motive line of iOS and USB microphones, portability is now your friend. Imagine being able to get great audio quickly and easily from your phone, tablet, or computer. Simply visit Shure.com slash Motive to start getting great audio for your content now. That's S-H-U-R-E dot com forward slash M-O-T-I-V. Alexa, play Whitney Houston. Okay. With Amazon Music, a voice is all you need. Get access to over 50 million songs. Download the Amazon Music app today.